Well, I am now joined by Andy Brickley. Brick, we're in China. Isn't that kind of, it's a little hard to believe we're in our first city of two cities. Right now we're in Shenzhen. We will head off to Beijing for two preseason games against the Calgary Flames. What does that mean that these two NHL teams are here in China? It's the fastest growing consumer market in the world when you start talking about the People's Republic of China. So I think that's where it all begins for the National Hockey League. Uh, Winter Olympics will be in Beijing in 2022. Um, I think they've embraced, this country's embraced winter sports. They've embraced hockey. They've asked the National Hockey League to help them grow the sport here in this country. And I think really that's what it's all about. Vancouver and LA were here a year ago. Now you got Boston, Calgary. And uh, I think it's a great opportunity individually for everybody that's on the trip to see this culture, experience this. Uh, but it's really ultimately about camp and preparing for the 2018 season. When it comes to preparation, obviously coming to China, everything wasn't going to run as smoothly as we <laughs> thought. The players dis did miss a day of practice on Thursday. We talked to head coach Bruce Cassidy. You could just see how kind of upset he was and let down that they couldn't get on the ice. What does that mean for the players and the coaches? Yeah, frustration across the board, Alex, when you talk about management, coaching staff, the players, uh, everybody that's involved, the league itself, Calgary Flames. I mean, everybody's in the same boat. You know, you lose a day due to the travel, number one and now you lose a second day. You had an off day set up for after the game, uh, after the first exhibition game, and maybe now that alters that schedule uh, because, again, it's really all about preparing for the season. That being said, as players, you know, one thing that you have to learn, whether you're a first-year guy or a guy that's in his 10th or 15th year, is how to compartmentalize and, and how to be able to control the things that you can control. This is out of their control, so you try to make, make do, do what you can, try to prepare, dry land train, do something together as a group, try to continue that bonding process. Uh, but yeah, it's frustrating because you would think, having been here a year ago, that these issues would not come up. And, uh, but again, you do what you can, you prepare, and I think the Bruins have great leadership in that area. Well, Cassidy also talked about evaluating some of these players during the preseason. How big really is the preseason when it comes to evaluating these non-veterans? Yeah, it's unique because you got a split squad. You know, you have guys back in North America, and they're doing what they need to do to prepare for the regular season. Uh, and then you have a different group here. So as far as the evaluation process, you think about the young guys. Everybody's pretty aware what's, what's up for grabs in terms of what the Bruins are looking to evaluate evaluate what positions and the depth areas that uh, that they may be concerned about. So for the younger guys that are looking to make an impact here in China, it really affects them. Uh, they have to learn how to deal with it. You're affected not by having some veterans here because those are the guys that you want to play with. They help you make that transition to the National Hockey League. So that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is what we're facing now with two off days in a row. And challenge number three is how do you prepare because of the loss of a day if you're a young guy. And I think that all has to go into consideration in the evaluation process. Well, Brick, this is going to be a unique and very fun experience here in China. Back to you at the desk.